tornado. I, I just want to show you that this, this is the satellite picture of that tornado or of that supercell thunderstorm. It formed in Montague County and watch how explosive this thing was in development last night. I mean, not much was going on in Monte County and then about 920 that supercell started to form 920 and then 941 the first tornado warning was issued. So it was like 15 to 20 minutes between basically when that storm formed to when it was it was producing a tornado. And then it tracked across the whole northern portion of North Texas from 941 to 1 a.m. We had ongoing tornado warnings. I'm going to let it loop here. I mean, I mean, it really just looks look how explosive that was back in Monte County as that storm blew up, tapped into the extremely humid air mass that was over North Texas yesterday and tons of fuel for that storm. And unfortunately, we saw at least one long track tornado from Monte County through Southern Cook County, which includes the Valley View area and into the Denton County area around Lake Ray Roberts, a long track EF2, at least an EF2 at this point with wind speeds of 135 miles an hour and then a separate tornado. It looks like at this point, same storm, separate tornado and EF3 of uh, 165. Of course, the final information with all this uh, with these tornadoes will be finalized over the next couple days. We could add a couple more and some of these ratings could increase over the next couple days as we get the final information. We're quiet tonight besides a little thunderstorm activity that's moving towards Arkansas and Louisiana. We will stay dry as we head through the overnight hours. Perhaps a few clouds kind of mix in late tonight and into tomorrow morning. So we start your Memorial Day dry, but it's during the afternoon and evening. We need to watch out for a few thunderstorms around the area. Everybody sees the heat tomorrow. It's a high of 95, which is better than the 98 which we saw today. So here's what happens tomorrow. We're quiet through the midday hours, but then watch how we get a few thunderstorms developing tomorrow afternoon and evening. And because it's going to be hot and humid, unfortunately, if those storms get going, any of them could be strong to severe with my main concerns being a wind and hail threat tomorrow. Tornado threats not completely zero, though, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But once again, I don't see a repeat of yesterday. But I do see the potential for some strong to severe storms out there tomorrow afternoon and evening. Right now it's a one on a scale of five. We'll keep an eye on that as we head through the day tomorrow. Temperatures 95 tomorrow down to 90 on Tuesday, but then 80s the rest of the weekend into next weekend. That's because look how your rain coverage increases through the upcoming week. And this is no joke. By the time we're ending up next weekend, so about a week from now, we could be dealing with another three to four inches of rain across North Texas and things are things are saturated. We could end up with some flooding issues through the upcoming week. It does look rainy and stormy this week. Later in the week, the severe threat doesn't look high, but with multiple rounds of rain, we could be dealing with flooding problems. Light winds and dry 73 tonight. Severe storms possible tomorrow, but not for everybody. I'm not guaranteeing that for everybody. I'm not guaranteeing storms for everybody, but if you have any plans, keep an eye on the sky. Stay weather aware. It's also an ozone action day 95 for your high tomorrow 80s after Tuesday and we'll be in the 80s next weekend with some rain and storm chances continuing as we begin June and uh, head through that first week of June as well. At least like I said, once we get to when we get rain and storm chances around that does help drive down the temperature a little bit. So we'll spend most of this next week in the low to mid 80s. But once the storm chances start to kind of dry up a little bit, we start to creep back into the 90s. We'll be back.